our next category up, the big time winner from Editor News. And he's coming up with two big trophies, so I gotta ask him about that. Tyler? Hi. Hi, Tyler, please introduce yourself for everybody and your category. It's Editor News, yes. correct? Yeah, I'm Tyler Horst uh, from ABC 10. Uh, Editor ABC, News. ABC, KNTV? KXTV, ABC oh, okay. 10. Sacramento? Uh, yes. Yeah. Congratulations Thank to you. you, by the Thank way. Thank you so much. You got Thank some you. hardware there. Yeah, uh, it w I won for Editor News, and then John Bartel and I just won for uh, History Culture as well. Oh, so we may call you back up again. Yeah, <laughs> who knows? Okay. Well, congratulations Thank you. to you. So tell me, how long have you been with your station in Sacramento? Uh, it's three years this year. Three yeah. years. And whatever made you want, first of all, to be an editor? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, I, I'm lucky in that I get to do a little bit of uh, everything in my position. I shoot and edit, but uh, I, the story really comes together in the edit. Uh, and that is, you know, that is where everything comes together in the end. And it does. Uh, you get to work with the photographer, with the writer, with the reporter, um, and really kind of see all elements to fruition. So uh, for me, it's one of the most exciting so parts of the job. So this particular um, entry that you won for, what is the name of it? Fire? Fire, Power, Money. Okay, uh, what is that all about? That is a three-year uh, three ongoing series. <laughs> Do we have enough series. time? Do we have enough time to explain that? I don't know. Oh, man, we've been working on it uh, for three years. It's the brainchild of Brandon Riddiman, who's standing right over there. Uh, it's uh, an investigation uh, at, okay. at this point largely into... Pacific Gas and Electric Companies, oh, uh, wildfires, uh, sure. their management of the grid, um, uh, and their multiple uh, felony counts, including the campfires, kind of what sparked the series off. Uh, the entry that this is for uh, focused on the state government's response to that. Uh, and their sort of bailout of the company. So that's that's the entry that this one is about. Job well done. Thank you. Very well done. And tell me, is this your first Emmy? Uh, in person. Uh, in my person, first in person because Emmy, we had so. COVID. That's right. So it means so much more, doesn't it? It does. It's nice to be here. It's nice to not have to get these mailed to my apartment. So uh, it's it's really lovely to see everybody uh, in person. And what are you going to do with these Emmys? Um, well, because we, we'll probably call you back up. Yeah. So I want to talk about one right now. Sure. They're lovely ladies. Mm -hmm. Dressed in gold. And what are you going to do with them? I'm going to put them on my shelves and hope my cats don't knock them over. <laughs> and and tell me, when you're working on this particular story about pg e mm -hmm. you know, of course, in the back of your mind, uh, you know, you're working for the good of the, the community, the good of the man, really, the good of the story. Did you ever anticipate this moment would come? Uh, we hoped it would. Uh, we're just honored that it did. Well, I'm so glad you're honest about that because you're working for, you know, you work so hard and say, okay, this was so darn good. Let's submit it for an Emmy, right? Yeah, that's right. And uh, I mean, obviously we thank uh, the victims and survivors of the fires that we cover for trusting us with their stories. Um, well, I really appreciate that because sometimes I feel like we cannot benefit off of tragedy, Yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, you, you find that so many times with breaking news. Mm -hmm. Um, but I really appreciate your honesty, and I, I really want to congratulate you. Thank I'm you. so happy for you, and Thank I hope you. to see you back next year. Thank you. I hope to be back here next year as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm.